I'm so excited to share with you a quick and tasty new way to roast vegetables that I just learned. I discovered this technique through cooksillustrated.com from one of their roasted Brussels sprouts recipes. But you can really do this with a lot of different vegetables, like potatoes, sweet potatoes, cauliflower, carrots, really anything that's denser and might take a little bit longer to roast. The first step is you want to preheat your oven to 500 degrees. Yes, we're really going to get our oven that hot and I promise you it's not going to explode. It'll be fine. Next, we're going to chop our vegetables and you can chop them into whatever shape you'd like. I typically like to have my Brussels sprouts and quarter of the potatoes and sometimes I like to chop my carrots into fries. After you've chopped the vegetables, you want to move them onto a baking sheet, which you can line with parchment paper or not. It's completely up to you. And I just typically just sprinkle it with some salt and then I cover with aluminum foil. It's important here to get a really tight seal with the foil because what we want to do is steam these vegetables first with that high temperature. We want to trap all that air and steam in there so these vegetables really basically get just cooked through. Then we're going to put our covered vegetables into the oven and set a timer for 10 minutes and let the vegetables steam away. After 10 minutes is up, take your vegetables out of the oven, take the foil off, and add a little bit of oil. I usually just use olive oil. And then here is where you can season it however you'd like. You can keep it simple with just some salt and pepper, maybe some brown sugar, or you can get creative with your spices. You can chop up some herbs like rosemary or thyme. You can even make your own vinaigrette. If you are making a vinaigrette, you don't need to add the oil beforehand because your vinaigrette probably already has oil, so you don't need to do that. So once you get your seasoning on, toss everything through, spread everything out evenly, and pop it back in the oven at 500 degrees for another 10 to 15 minutes. The second part of cooking ensures that your vegetables come out crunchy and caramelized, which is exactly how we love our roasted vegetables. So after the time's up and your vegetables are done, take them out of the oven, and you can add a little bit more seasoning if you'd like here. I always like to add a little bit more salt toss everything through and then you're ready to enjoy. So that's it. I hope you try this technique in your kitchen soon because it's really that quick and easy to roast vegetables on any given night.